Hi. Which one of you guys is today's winner? Oh, it is not Mooch. Definitely not Mooch. Sometimes the food dishes aren't as e easily distributed, evenly distributed. It just kind of depends. Topo needs all the food in his mouth. He does, but he never finishes first. Kumiko, though, her and Rizzo look like they've just about licked their plates clean. Get it. And they walk away. Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. It is third It is June 2nd. I know that. 2021. And you're watching the Daily Dan. But do 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 and all the other stuff. It's time to get up, stand up, stop doom scrolling, and look at my crazy life. Because the Daily Dan is here to save your day. Daily Dan always changing. Today we're coming to you live from my GoFro Pro phone here um, at. Uh, are we allowed to call things Ground Zero, or are we? Is that not fun? Is that like? Do we not do that? Well, if we don't, then I'm not there. But if we do, oh my gosh, everybody. This house is madness. This house is madness. Either you guys can relate or you're twitching. We've gone through some of the stuff. And we'll go fly around the house today and look at some of the stuff. Back over here at Food Corner, uh, it looks like everybody's, everybody's done eating. Wow, I know, Liz. Oh my gosh. I think you need more stuff. No way, we cleared out more stuff. That's all trash. I just, I have nowhere to trash my trash anymore, everybody. But we'll get back to that in a minute. Let's get back over here to what used to be Blake's room. This used to be Blake's room, and now it's, uh, it's gonna be the room with all this not Blake's room stuff in it. Oh my gosh. I can set this here for, I can set this here for a second. I should probably be in down a little bit. Probably aim down. I can check the chat on here. Hi. Hi. You have a lot of room for more stuff. No, I don't. No, I, that's the thing. I don't. I want to get rid of all this. I need a little bit of a clean area here so I can take the lighting and stuff and put it in here. But here we are. We're in what used to be Blake's room. And what used to be Crystal's brother's Jason's room. And for a while it was, yeah, that's it. And then um, we'll go to the other room in just a minute. But yeah, here it is. I could kind of put this in the in the corner more. Maybe we'll see how it goes on here. Do you have a dump out there, like a landfill? You can take big garbage. You know, I do, and it's like three miles. It's like three miles away. So I could load up my my uh, my Jeep with the cardboard and go over there. I know you have to pay to dump, but I don't even care. So I'm just kind of saving it all up, filling up the trash can, and just saving all like the cardboard stuff up, and then I'll try to load it all up at once. Also at Crystal's work, she's got a big dumpster, so I could take stuff over there as well. Morning all, good morning. I hope it doesn't sound awful. I hope you don't mind us come, me coming from remotely today, because why not, right? Like, let's make this show weird every day. <laughs> weird every day. Maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll, I'll come to you live from McDonald's where we'll get breakfast in the car. It reminds me of when uh, me and my brother cleaned out my mom's house. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like that. And don't worry, Steve. My hockey trophies are safe and sound up there. It's so old, 95. That's like so old away. And my old spawn toy that I got in like the late 90s. Mm hmm. There's all kinds of cool stuff on here we can check out. Let's go. You guys want to room snoop? You guys want to like room snoop my stuff? Let's room snoop my stuff. I'm coming to you live from, oh, you can't see it on here, from a GoPro. Eight wirelessly here straight to straight to YouTube oh look this was at uh, our friend Nanda's wedding this is before I had a mohawk and crystal wore a dress and look how little Blake was oh my gosh okay bam Sorry, I was trying to read Husky Tales 101's comment and I couldn't read it right. Dan, why did you remind me how crazy kittens are? These boys are nonstop. Yeah. It, it, you know what you gotta do? Oh, I can walk away. You kind of fatten them up. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Oh, okay, fine. Fine. Anyway, so we have stuff here. We have old Star Wars books. Oh my gosh, that Star Wars book's from the 70s. But I, I don't know what to do with these. I'm not going to read these. Those are kind of cool to have. Even this one, like, 
I don't know. Do you guys read the Star Wars books? Uh, I was at Comic Con and the guy was signing them and giving them away. But I'll never read it. Look how many words are in there. That's ridiculous. That's like a year's worth of reading. Oh my gosh. I was in like Cub Scouts. Look, Danny Mosley. I did some of the stuff in there. You had to do like, you had to like do the stuff that was inside. It's in cursive, so I don't read that. But I did stuff. I got badges. I got badges and stuff. So anyway, there's a bunch of junk over here. There's a bunch of Japanese books over here that says uh, Katakana and that says, that's like the A-I-U-A-O, that's like the alphabet, or not the alphabet, the vowels. And that says it's a book. Crystal painted that stuff. Dan with Neil Mohawk, I know you like that, isn't that crazy? I, ooh, I spy a crystal, not crystal pictures, but an actual crystal. You do not spy an actual crystal, she's not here. She's not here. Okay, so anyway, there's like yearbooks. There's like high school yearbooks from Crystal. We should see what Crystal looked like in her high school yearbook. I don't I don't have any high school yearbooks, but I have junior high yearbooks. But we've seen those before on other shows. Anyway, there's lots of stuffs. Lots of stuffs. Uh, what else? What else do I have? Like, I've been collecting this box, and then this box is like all my old cameras and all my old iPhones and my old iTouches. It's crazy to see how... Uh, how little the eye touches were back in the day. I have like the original version one of an eye touch. Uh, right here. And I'll set it next to my iPhone right here. And that's how much smaller, uh, you can't see. Oh, now it's not gonna work, but it's so tiny. So, so tiny compared to this thing, look at. It is really tiny. It's just slim and small. So I have all my old technology. I've kept all my old cameras and stuff. All the cameras I used to vlog with. All my old stuff. And then eventually I'm going to set up a nice cool shelf that's lit up with all the cameras and stuff that I've ever had ever. Ever in the evers. Box with boxes. Box for your broken monitor. Okay, so here's the thing. The monitor's packed up in this box. How did... Good eye. Good eye. All right. So the monitor is packed up in here, the broken monitor, right? So I gotta like take it to like a waste place or something to like dispose of it. So I put it back in the box and it's here. And then like, I just gotta load it up and take it to like the e-waste place. Like, I don't wanna throw it in my trash can. I still have the first iPod touch. Oh my gosh, yes. I have uh, I have the very first, I have the very first iPod mini in here. The very first iPod mini, and I have uh, an iPod, is that the touch? I don't I don't know if that's the touch or not, Sam, but I do have old iPod stuff. Yeah, keep the old, the old uh, Apple stuff's really neat. Really neat. Anyway, this, this used to be full of more stuff, and I managed to part with it. I managed to part with some of the stuff. But like, you know, like I have all these video games down here. Like, what am I... <laughs> What am I supposed to do with all these video games? There's stacks and stacks and stacks of video games here. And then like, like what am I gonna do with like Unreal Tournament from like 1999? I don't even have a CD-ROM drive, you know? Oops, I don't have a CD-ROM drive. We still have our original iPods, but not the not in the boxes. We don't use them, of course. Right, but it's cool to have. Like that's all 1.0 technology. I still have my original Game Boy. My original Game Boy's in the other room there, but I still have my original Game Boy. So yeah, see, this is junk. There's a Switch Pod that I didn't use. Those were odd. Uh, what else do I have? I guess I'm just showing you stuff because that's that's what we're doing. Let me move this chair out of the way. Lots of board games. Lots of fun board games we played over the years. What's your guys' take on Battleship? Are you guys a Battleship fan? What PlayStation 4 games do you have? That I don't. I had Xbox games. So unfortunately. You could always add a CD-ROM. I, oh, I could, I guess. I could. I do have a stack of discs that I'm supposed to go through. And see what they are. So yeah, maybe so. Anyway, I got like a lot of like, oh my god, puzzles. Those are punishment. Those are punishment right there. Ew, you have cooties. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. And guess what? All the pieces are still in the cooties. Isn't that amazing? Which everybody was always missing cooties, but not us. There's Blake's really super awesome Pikachu Pinewood Derby car. 
pretty much Crystal did this all in one night. It got last place. If you guys watch the old school vlogs, it got last place. It didn't win at all, but it won for best looking car. But that thing just shimmied too much down the track. It just didn't, even with the weights, it just didn't, it just didn't go. But it was beautiful and everybody loved it. There's all kinds of stuff. Look, Steve, this is for you. Crystal had a big old crush on Luke Robotai. She actually came with this. It's a Luke Robotai puck. I tried to sell it online and nobody would buy it. I'll take your battleship. I, uh, this stuff here I think staying, but I do have a pile of to go stuff. I do. And I think I have a pile of sell stuff too. So I'll, I'll definitely make the sell stuff in a pile, right? And then I'll ask anybody if they want the stuff, like, you know, whatever, like pay shipping. And then they can get the stuff. There's just a little bit of Crystal's candy there. She's got a whole other bucket of it somewhere. So, there's all kinds of old memories here, except for the Dane puzzles. I hate puzzles. Those are Crystal's. Those are Crystal's puzzles. Crystal's got this book. You guys should ask Crystal about the Nirvana book that she made. Oh my gosh. Where's... Ooh, he came to win the... <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. All right. Um, there's this book. Where where can I find this? Where can I find this book at? I don't know. Did Crystal hide it in here? There's this. It's here. There's this Nirvana book that says Nirvana on it, and it is the most glorious timepiece ever. Of a cut of cutouts and 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 stuff like laminated in this book of like Kurt Cobain. That's for Crystal to want to show you. But you should ask her about the Nirvana Bible that she's got in here. Because it is a crazy historical piece at this point. What's the photos? Uh, like these photos here? If you're looking for these photos here, there's uh, a drawing of me from Anna. Like, well, I would go down to little Tokyo and hang out with my friends. And they were like graphic designers at like Sony on Online Entertainment. So they were like, were always drawing stuff. And of course I want them to draw me. Then my friend Mark drew me one day and that's what I looked like from the Halloween picture. Just like me, that's so cool, right? And then there's a picture of Blake laying on a bed of nails, all unsure <laughs> on a bed of nails. He thought he was gonna get pierced. Is that what you mean? My sister loves Nirvana. Oh, not more than a crystal. And then, I don't know, there's some drawings and stuff down here. Those aren't mine. This is mostly Crystal's, like, stuff. Here's the Lego that's organized. So all those buckets have organized pieces of Legos, and they're completely full of Lego. Completely full, right. But that's just that piece right there, right? So. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Are you outing Crystal Skeletons? No, I won't show you the book, but if she wants to. All right, so here's one more bin of Lego. So here's just, this is just one bin of like four, five, six bins of Lego. All, all from sets and stuff. Oh my gosh, some of them aren't even open, but we have another one of these too. Oh look, there's bin number two full of Lego. So we have pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of Lego and Lego stuff. I'll post a picture later, but uh, I have uh, one of these whole boxes is just minifigures from Lego. And if you're a Lego fan, here, this one. This one is just minifigures. Only minifigures. Completely jam-packed full of things. Like, it's a trap. Like, if you Google it's a trap Lego guy, I bet that thing's like 20 bucks. I bet it's more. I bet it's a trap Lego guy is probably worth a bunch of money. So there's just everything in here from all the Lego stuff. So we have Lego, so at some point, you ever see those uh, streams where people like just build Lego? You should talk Crystal into a Lego building stream. Um, inside the boxes, we have like hundreds of man, oh, that's what these are. Inside, uh, is it this one? Nope. We have a bin somewhere that's just got hundreds of the manuals in it that we got from Legos. Wowzers, that's Legoland, right? The Legos you walked across. Yes, that is. Oh my gosh, I did walk across some of the Legos for uh, Random Friend Squad. I did that. That's right. Admiral Akbar. Yes. But yeah, like, so it's just ridiculous the stuff that's in there. 
Lego, Lego wise. And the cats are going crazy a little bit. So then, okay, so then I have my new monitor, but after 15 days is up, then I can throw the box away, you know, but I gotta wait. Anyway, DDR mats, like, so it's just junk. It's just junk, like, it's just junk. So we try to throw away as much junk as we can. I don't know what we're gonna do with the Lego. There's clothes that I think we're gonna sell. Crystal sewed all that stuff, so I'm sure she'll sell that on our Etsy. <laughs> I probably got an equal amount of Lego in my house. My oldest is 25 now. Melissa, how much money do you think, not like, you don't have to say it, but like, how many thousands of dollars do you think you spent on Legos on your kids over the years? Oh my gosh, that's like, there's so, so much time with the Legos and stuff, but I don't want to get rid of them. And if we did get rid of them, we'd have to put them back into the sets. You know how hard is that's going to be? But we definitely have thousands of dollars in Lego. We should do a build thing. Like Crystal loves building Legos. We were watching Lego Masters season two, which is a little bit obnoxious, but it was, it's cool to see these people build Lego. So we should, uh, we should definitely do something with it. Like we're going to have that painting night. We should definitely do something with Lego night. Lego, Lego is what AJ is into. Yes. Yes. You'll be so, so surprised. Um, how much you'll spend on Lego. Also, my advice to you is every Lego pack, take away the instruction booklet, put it somewhere in a file folder and take them out when you need them and save those instruction booklets. Those are worth a lot of money. Oh uh, man, maybe it's in there. I think maybe it's in there. There's a huge file folder we have of just the instructions for the Lego. And just try to keep all the pieces. Please don't vacuum them up because those things, that, that stuff's like gold. Okay, so then this is what's also has been going on all week, right? Lego are fun, yes. There's contest built like the Titanic out of Legos. Yes, okay, so, oh my gosh, he's gone. So, uh, do I have these books? Are these books down here? So, we are part of the Master Lego collection where they would send us these like master books and stuff um, with like all these like unique ones that you couldn't get like anywhere else. Oh my gosh, this GoPro is like fuming hot. But this isn't what I was looking for. There was a Lego magazine and they'd have contests and we'd build it and take pictures of it and send the send the pictures to them and stuff like that. I don't see that anymore. Hey, here's a blast from the past. You guys remember these? If you're like, maybe if you're younger, like maybe if you're like under 30, you always grew up with these. But when I was younger, like in the like early, early 80s, and you saw somebody with this, you were like, oh my gosh. Can you guys smell the Crayola? And if your friends were cool, they'd have that big round, stupid round carousel thing that you could uh, put all the crayon in. I need to get inspired by you guys and purchase some of this junk we collected. Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We were that way for the first 48 hours and last night, well, Crystal came home from work and last night we did like three more hours of this stuff and then we flopped on the couch. And now Crystal's like, I just want it gone. I'm like, me too. I just want it gone. So I don't know. I think we're going to get a little shed outside just for the, like, um, like the tools, like, like the, I was about to describe to you, like the rake and the shovel, like the tools and, and stuff. So we we will put some stuff out there, but we're still just going through a lot of this. Stuff. And as soon as I'm done going through all of this, I'm going to start over and see if I can purge one more time. I do have some old video game stuff. My CRTs, uh, in the other room. But I do have some old stuff. <clears throat> they were rich if they had the the box of 64 crayons. I know, right? Right? It was so crazy. Okay, I know them and I'm only 19. Yes, you'll know them, but like, they like all of a sudden showed up into existence when I was a kid. So I have another box of these consoles, but right now I have like a GameCube and I have some of my old Nintendo games here. Oh, Rygar. Uh, like, like all the stuff. I wanted to hook it up here with the, with the CRT, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room in here. But that's it. Look at how bad, like, I need to go through this drawer. Look at that. I hate cables so much. You guys know how much I hate tangles. Hey, Dan. Hello, Larry. Kumiko probably wants out. Yes. But now she's gonna sniff in there to see what, what's going on in there. Don't go in there. Topo's in there. You don't like each other. Unless Topo hopped out, now there's two cats in there and they're gonna get ready to rumble and we're gonna watch. That system is almost 20 years old! Oh, I got older systems than that. My Nintendo Entertainment System's in a box in the other room that I'm gonna set up and that thing's way old. That's like 35 years old. But yeah, I always kept all my consoles. Uh, I like them. There's another Xbox back here somewhere. 
It's got leopard print on it because Crystal put leopard print on everything. Is that back here? No, it's it's somewhere. She put leopard print on everything. So, anyway, here, I'll let you peek out to see beautiful sunny Southern California. It's hot today. It's about to be 102 today. It was 100 degrees yesterday. It was our first triple digit day. <laughs> Look at Blake and I got this at Comic Con. Cable maintenance is needed in that drawer. It is. Come help me. You could be here by like noon. Okay. 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 My GameCube is black. Oh yeah, I got the purple. I got the purple one. All right. So this, this was the super super messy room. This used to be Crystal's bedroom when she was a kid. Uh, it's way bigger as you guys can see. Like this room starts over here. Like there's a whole bathroom's worth of more space here in this room. Um. So this is Blake's room. On the walls, Crystal painted, well, Crystal painted the less than Jake guy, Evo kid, and then she crayon, like, uh, color pencil the Sublime stuff when she was a kid, the Sublime logo. Um, yeah, so that's all color, that looks pretty good. It's all color, it's all color pencil. So anyway, those have been in the closet since she was a kid and she did that. Uh, and then yeah, so there's like a lot of old ass stuff up here, like a lots of legs and an Ernie and an old gizmo and a popple. You guys remember popples? So there's weird stuff. Oh, what's the? Is there? Oh, uh, there's nothing good behind the doors. There's Crystal's like graduation stuff. She lettered in academia, whatever that is. I think that's for being smart. I think she lettered in being smart. She is a Lisa Simpson. So then. Whew. So then, uh, all Blake's stuff's kind of in here, but like still some of our stuff's in here, like old records. I think we're trying to get rid of these old records. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. My old bike. But anyway, we're still trying to clean out the rest of the stuff in here. So Blake can have like a way bigger room. Look at that. And then we're going to put new carpet in. No, no, no. I think we're going to put hardwood flooring in to match this hardwood flooring. We had somebody come and install it for us and they did it in a few hours. So I'm wondering if Crystal and I can ins install it, but I don't know if I have the skills for that. I'm not really sure. Welcome to the RFS house of nostalgia. Yeah, today's just kind of a weird day. So Blake's 3D printer's here and his stuff's here. And a big old long desk all the way through the corner. So you have a lot more room, a lot more room inside here. And there's a Mooch. Hey Mooch. What's up? All right. So yeah, and then the closet's just got closet stuff in it. Like my Nintendo and stuff's in there. and. It's like, it was kind of just storage, so we don't have to go in there. But anyway, once we get the rest of this junk cleaned out of here, because we have until, uh, Blake won't be back until Monday. So we have until Monday to do this stuff. But today was the first day that, uh, when Crystal was leaving for work, she, I was like, I was like, all right, Kamiko, I'll let you out. When Crystal was leaving for work, I was like, what's up, you okay? She like, yeah, I'm just getting a bunch of anxiety because I just need this stuff to be over. She did well for the first three days and now she's just wants it over. So every single piece that comes back into this room has been gone through, has been clean, has been organized. All the CD cases are organized in alphabetical order. All the games are organized with their discs in them in alphabetical order. Crystal alphabetized everything in here. Everything's alphabetized. Everything's got its own disc for it. So we've been thoroughly going through stuff. All the discs that are in here are all back to being alphabetized. It's not that hard putting in the floor, just sore knees. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking of a YouTube for laying floors because I think I have the flooring. I think I have the flooring. I just don't know how to put it in. So I want to do that. I want to rip it up and put the flooring in there because that's like old carpet from like when Crystal was a teenager. It's like old and gross. So and Crystal painted the back of her door leopard print too when she was a teenager. So Crystal wants to paint this whole room. Blake will get to pick whatever color. But anyway, so he'll have a lot more room to like do his projects and stuff on. And it'll be way bigger improvement. And we'll get to get all this junk out of here. It is nice to finally purge all this junk. Goodbye, old paint. I will dispose of this properly, obviously. But goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye stuff. Not the yard stuff. I do need the yard stuff. But this pile, not that stuff. But, like, I have a big donate pile going here. Uh, but this is all just, like, 
junk. <laughs> this is all junk. All right, hold on. I'll let you out, Kumiko. You can see all the junk in this room while I go let Kumiko out. Oh goodness. And then you have to watch out that you don't step on this, these things. They're all over the house like bombs. Carpet from the day of the dinos. Yeah, right? Have Jamie come out and put it on the floor. You're right, I'll just fly him out here because he loves flying. No, uh, I think they're like on Mackinac Island or something today. Hi Dan, hello. Hi, hey Topo. What's up? You in the way? Yeah, you're in the way. You're in the way. But it's time to part with like this tiny little air table's gotta go. We'll donate stuff like that. Like nothing will get thrown in the trash. Everything will get donated. We started going through box of tools and like purging like old tools. Still have like old Hot Wheel boxes. You guys remember Hot Wheel boxes? So I'm gonna have to go through stuff like that. I have like a bunch of hockey cards in here. Look, I put all the penguins cards in the in the uh hard sleeves like no like hardly anybody is on the team but all these other ones nobody cares about right that anybody would know james van reendyke does he still play no it looks like they took out all the they took out all the detroit red wings cards because they suck look there's a cron wall uh, over here, look. There's a Pavel Daisuk. I know how much you guys love Daisuk when he was in, uh, when he was in Detroit. Oh, look. I have an old, like, early 90s Pavel Bure. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let me put this back. Let me put this back. How do I put these back? How do I put these back? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so that's it. That's it. Let's get out of here. What are you doing in here? You want some food? I'll bring you some worms in a minute. Okay. How, weren't you just laying on the floor over there? I swear there's two topos. There's like, he's always in every room that I'm in. He just shows up. Daitsuk had the best hands in the, in the NHL has ever seen. Too bad it's clotted by his crummy attitude. So all I remember is how weird he was. Not his silky hands. Burry had good hands too. Where are you going? Hey, we're just following you around. Okay, all right. Mooch has just been sleeping lately. I, uh, let's go over here by the Dan desk. Oh my gosh. Sorry if this gives you anxiety. It's crazy. I don't like it, but I'm so happy to be able to throw away, like, or like, you know, dispose of like so much of the stuff. I'm finally, finally, I feel like tonight we're gonna go through these drawers and there's just drawers of Transformers, old and new from my childhood and from Blake's, just, just so many Transformers. More than meets all the eyes. Like there's not enough eyes. They do look super rad though. I was still during Transformer time. Anyway, there's stuff in like all of these bins. So tonight we'll go through those. Um, it's really, really hot. So over here, I have the I have the air cooler on here, right? And it's blowing under my desk that goes up and down. And then I have the two TV trays set up and this is the bed Mooch comes and lays on in front of the fan because old man Mooch needs that air. Old man Mooch these air. So this comes through here. It's nice and cool in this little area. Like this is like my work box here, I guess we can call it. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. Cause I just keep piling stuff on there. Like oh, I'll go through that. Look at, I'll go through that. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, I found random friend squad stickers that I didn't get done peeling out from, these are eight, eight years old. These are eight years old. So I still have, some random Fred Squad stickers, and you can see the vinyl starting to shrink up a little bit from when I made these, when the random Friend Squad was around. Oh my gosh, I might put these together and cut them out. Uh, so anyway, and then I was last night when I was cleaning stuff. Oh, by the way, real quick, an update. The monitor stand came, 
and my monitor is pushed way back now so it feels a lot better size wise so it's not so much in my face so 32 inch is still too big 27 inch is the perfect size monitor so i don't regret it because I, I i will get used to it but it's a little bit it's a little bit big throwing it away or trying to sell it would, for which one the russian rocket he had a better attitude than manner and matthews lol I like Austin Matthews, uh, but Pavel Burry just kept his mouth shut and he just played. Uh, last night I was working on the, if you have a PlayStation Vita, you just download this app and you can have uh, this thing called RetroArch on there and it'll play all the games. PlayStation Vita is an amazing, beautiful specimen here. I love the Vita. So last night I was trying to do a walkthrough to get the Vita to work on my, uh, or to get like a uh, memes emulators to work on it. Let's see. Look, I have some stuff in here. Uh, LA Kings versus the Phoenix Coyotes in 1998 at the Great Western Forum. The Forum's not even around anymore. Now they play at the Staples Center. But I was there, man. What is this? Kings versus the Minnesota Wild in 2006. I know I have a Kings versus Atlanta Thrashers in here somewhere. But I got so sick. I think I puked at the Thrashers game. But I got all kinds of old stuff. Like, you used to have to have like, you used to have to have like hockey insurance back in the day. So that was my cool little card. I wasn't old enough. Was I old enough? Uh, 78, 88, 98. I was barely old enough to have a credit card, but this was like my credit card. I also got blasted in the face and knocked my teeth out and they didn't help me. <laughs> so I don't know what the point is. I think it's just don't sue insurance. I don't know what it's in here. Anyway, these are just the stuffs that I've kept over the years in like a bag or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I have stuff to get, I need to get rid of. I need to get rid of. I need, um, minimal, I need to minimalize some stuff. You should do it. It sucks right now, but I'm in the middle of it, but it's going to feel so much better. I just don't want the memories to be gone, but then again, you can't keep all the memories. What about all the memories that are already gone? So I've been trying really hard, but like, how do I throw away my roller hockey, like insurance or the ice hockey insurance or my, my ticket stuff from when I went down to the Metrolink and talked about how I missed the train, but I can't have this stuff forever, right? I can't keep this stuff forever. I have like old stamps in here. What do I want to do with old stamps? Is the Pony Express going to come and take my mail? Oh my gosh. I'm doing it. I'm doing right now. Are you, are you purging your stuff too? Are you purging? I'm sliding around the floor. All my toes have black eyes. All of them. They all have black eyes from kicking stuff. Ah, and that's uh, that's it. Let's go back into the rooms that aren't, aren't so crazy. Where are you going? He'll be back. He'll be back. They'll all, they all come back. They all come back. All right. Let's see what you guys are doing. How you guys holding up? Is this uh, remote viewing working well with just the GoPro? I'm telling you guys. My friend said the other day, Holly was like, I'm going on a cross country trip, blah, 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 blah. I need a camera. And I'm like, you should get a GoPro. These GoPros are amazing. The lighting in here is not the best. Oh, uh, well, I kept my Miranda Lambert tickets. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you know, those things are from the 90s, though. So eventually you're just like, I don't care anymore. Like my old trophies is like, I don't care what I did when I was eight. But for now, keep them. Keep them all. Keep them all. I have to back up on the chat here. You, you would think Nintendo would put an emulator on a Switch so you could play all the older games. Yeah, I mean, you just just what they they try to roll it out with that like Nintendo and Super Nintendo thing, but they're only rolling out games for it like every other month, and they're crummy games. Like I'm I'm waiting for Cobra Triangle to come, or I'm waiting for RC Pro Am to come to the to the NES. But you're right. But the emulators work beautifully on the Vita, so I'm just gonna throw one on the Vita, even though I don't need it. I have it on my PC. I you know I should set up. Look at. 
I have this bomb Hori stick here from Hori. Like, ugh, this seems so heavy. Full on like arcade, this seems really heavy. Arcade stick, it does a four way and eight way. So sometimes I do hook it up. Like when we used to have gatherings and parties here, I would hook that up across the room by my desk. And I would have like Pac-Man or something easy on the big screen and people would come and they would just play it during the night. And it would sit there for a while, and as people drank more and more, they would be playing more and more of the games. It was a lot of it was a lot of fun. I wish I still had some stuff as I was a child. You know, when I was a child, it, it's great, but after at some point, you just want it all to go. You just want it all to go away. Um, yeah, they really needed a 64 and GameCube uh, two though. Yes, but it's weird. There's a GameCube emulator on the Vita. I saw people playing it. I I think they're having a little bit of issues, which I don't know why, but when I got the Switch 25th anniversary, 35th anniversary cart that had uh, Mario 64 on it, they did some stuff to it, but it still was just weird. So I don't know. I don't know if they can't get the 64 right. Also, GoldenEye didn't hold up well. GoldenEye, GoldenEye didn't hold up well at all. There's nowhere good to go to get away from this bad lighting. So I will make my own lighting. Ta-da! Y'all aren't bad. My in-laws literally have a tractor trailer full, a tractor trailer full of stuff they won't throw away. Hate the ugly things sitting in our pretty woods. That's the problem. And my pretty woods going up since I'm a city folk uh, was the garage. And my parents had all this stuff in the garage from rental companies that weren't even around anymore. United Rental Company was out of business for years and we still had those boxes. And I hated it. I don't even know what was in there. Just junk they wouldn't throw away. And my parents seemed pretty sane. Like they were cool. The inside of our house wasn't like hoarded up or nothing, but the garage was. And so I didn't like that back room. It like, I didn't like that. I didn't like that hoarded up. Uh, I am going to be pet sitting for these people who live in a multi-million dollar house. Ooh, too late. I already read it. I already read it. Sorry. That'll be super cool. That'll be really super cool. Have Crystal scrapbook of your hockey team and stuff. I have, I don't have too many photos of the hockey stuff, but I have like, I have like VHS cassettes that need to be put on DVD before they get oxidized. You know, like too much air gets to them and then they start fading off and, and not working. So I do need to do that. But I know I think her scrapbook days are retired. Although I do see a lot of her scrapbooky stuff and stuff that she's made. She's pretty good. She's pretty crafty. She's she's pretty crafty. Um. Oh, the garage is full also. Yeah, I don't want to do that. And I don't own that much stuff. I mean, I do own some stuff, but I want to get rid of it. It's just hard to part with it. But what are we going to do with all this old stuff? Where's their... Where's your uh, your in-laws? Tell them to watch this video or any of the other 40 seasons of Hoarders. We used to watch that show and then I can't watch it no more. It's been a long time so maybe I could revisit it but I can't do it no more. So yeah, it was hard. I didn't want to show you guys all the mess but then I'm like, no, like you can see the mess. This is what happened and just all the stuff collected over the years and Blake turned from that phase from kid to like teenager you know, now he doesn't want anything. He doesn't want to own anything. He just wants his computer and his technology and chess. He's been really into chess. Um, uh, the board game, not, yeah, uh, the board game. He's been really into that, you know? Um, so he's a technology kid, so he doesn't really want any of the old s stuff, you know? He doesn't want his old Transformers or anything. He might appreciate them later in life, you know, but he doesn't want any of that stuff. When my dad cleaned my grandpa's property, he found a car bumper under blackberry bushes, but the bumper was attached to a slug bug hidden car. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. It's so crazy. Crystal's dad, and you've seen it in Crystal's mom's house. Crystal's dad's garage is a blast of the past from the 70s and 80s, and everything's still in there. 70s and 80s, like adult books, 70s and 80s cans of spinach that were Popeye spinach like Oldsmobile uh, hubcaps, Mark and Brian stuff. It's so crazy in there, the stuff that he kept. And it still smells like the 70s and 80s in there. It's so crazy. It's just a blast from the past. I don't want that. 
When Blake dies, he just gets my digital wallet. Like, he'll get my Steam account. That's what I'm bequeathing to Blake. You know, he gets my Steam account. Uh, what else, what else would he get? He would just get my, he would just get my Steam account. That's it. <laughs> he can have those games. He can have all the games. I would love to know what's still in my grandpa's attic. Yes. Yes. And, and, and nobody cares when you're young, but when you're older, you start appreciating the fact that like, dang, that stuff's so old. So old. Old newspapers and stuff. You know, I still have one floating around here from the Challenger. Weird. I was a kid when that happened, but I still remember. Uh, like, so yeah, that would be really cool to go through and see a lot of stuff before like, like early 90s and before everything was rad. Soon as the 90s hit and people started getting on the internet, then everything is just what it is today. But before the world like super opened up really wide instantly, anything cool before that was documented on papers or photos or VHSs. Yeah, I was around for that time. So those cool old things exist. Now everything's so digital that it's not as cool. So I imagine that's the last of the cool generation. When I die, there's really not gonna be much cool physical things for me to have because it'll all be digital. You know, you'll have all the videos and the vlogs and, the, and that library. You'll have to carry that hard drive around. Blake is still young. He'll probably want some stuff if he decides to have a family. Yes and no, yes, absolutely. I never thought that way, but I did keep a lot of my toys, and it was cool to watch Blake play with them a little bit. But the stuff doesn't age well, these these generations. They don't age well. Um, like, for instance, like I was telling Blake how I wanted to set up the, all the game consoles I have. We could play all those retro games and stuff. Blake loves video games. He thinks those suck. So I was like, shoot, he don't even want those. The old Transformers and stuff were fine, but he still liked the new ones better. He played with my newer Star Wars toys, the, the new Star Wars toys more than he played with my old 70s Star Wars toys. So, these days, like, like maybe the kids don't like that stuff. They don't like the hand-me-downs. They just want to play with their stuff. So, I was like, well, shoot, like, what are we going to do with this stuff? But I don't want to throw away these Transformers. I don't. You never know. Yeah, no, I probably won't play with them anymore. <laughs> I think new games suck. I'm not quite there yet, but I know there's going to be a time where there'll be too many buttons. Like, it's just too much going on and I can't deal. That, that time will come. But I'll always have hockey. That's the one thing I've always played since I was a kid. And every one of my video game systems that I own links together uh, hockey. So I'll always play that, but yes. It does suck. It does suck when uh, when when you feel like you've been out buttoned on on these video games. <laughs> Save them for grandkids. If he's got kids, I don't know if he's reproducing or not. He might go to Mars. Like he's still young enough that he might just go to Mars, and then there's like no chores on Mars, right? So he don't have to go there. A gift to a nephew. Yes, I will have a pile of stuff that I will shop around to the family to see if they want stuff. But at this point, it's hard. Like I said, why would you want any of the Disney movies I have when Disney Plus literally has them all? They're turning to dust. There's no reason to have these. They're not worth anything. The plastic's going rotten. Nothing will have ever have more buttons than the Intellivision controller. Yeah, I had like that like nine keypad plus the little the little roller wheel. I used to play Smurfs on the Intellivision. Everything else kind of sucked on that. My kids have decided that whoever has the first kid gets the Lego, but I think they stay. I think they stay at my house since I paid for them all. Yes, they can check it out. Die, you could have them check it out like a library card. Bloop, Dewey Decimal System, and they can rent the Lego, but bring them back in sets, please, because Lego is a commodity. Lego is worth something. I'm sorry I won't be able to have to join in tomorrow because I have graduation practice. Hannah, that's the best thing to have. Oh my gosh. Graduation from what? Are you gonna like, are you gonna do something crazy? And that's awesome, I'm glad. Happy graduation. I graduated from eighth grade? Yeah, yeah. And then I spilled over into high school. So that's cool, I'm glad you're able to do that. Uh, well, there's that much excess stuff. Sometimes you just gotta get rid of it. Yeah, there's some stuff where I'm just like, 
get rid of. Like I said, I got rid of a lot of those discs and a lot of those video games yesterday of stuff that can't be repurposed or resold. It's just in and out and all the new sniffs. You know, he's been in this room, but he was never allowed to go in this room. So he's been pretty excited to be walking around the house here. He does not hustle. He does not hustle at all. All right, but look, there is some hope. There is some halfway organization. Like I said, after everything finds a home, we'll go back through one more time and make sure that, that the stuff, uh, that we really want the stuff. You know, do I really need this from 1989? I got this in 1989. I loved Zelda. I put that I beat the game on there, but I'm sure I did not beat the game in 1989, not till I was older. But what am I gonna do with this thing? You know? So yeah, that's a, that's my life now. Uh, from high school, awesome. That is awesome. I didn't add because the year I graduated college, there was no graduation celebration. That's dumb. <laughs> Zelda, woo! -hoo, save that. Yeah, I won't say. Yeah, I won't get rid of it. But like, what? Do I, I remember getting it at the store too. I remember getting it that day at the store too. And but like, what do I do with it? What do I do with it? Except for I can't find Fly Away Home on Disney Plus. No, and I know it's there, but it's not popping up wherever I search for it. No. Fly Away Home, oh my gosh. Is that the one with like the birds and... It's a little like Ann Tambring, whatever, I don't remember her name. And then she was like flying that little like unsafe prop plane with the little, with the birds. I think that's what it was. My grandma still has her rotary dial phone. Great, just in case Lassie calls. We had the one, uh, Foxy Call, where you'd pick it up and put it up to your ear and you'd hold the other like beak to it. I had that growing up when it was actually one of our house phones. Um, but I, I haven't seen a landline in years. In fact, I tried to buy a regular phone the other day for Dantix because I got a phone line before I had to cancel it because it you, you can't get it. I couldn't get it to split the lines. Um, and they didn't have anything old and retro at all. <laughs> Thanks, popular sickness. Oh, that sucks, Brittany. I'm sorry. You can join the No Garage Club. Yes. But yeah, no rotary, no rotary phones. We did have a rotary phone before we got a cordless phone and it would be cool. I'd always ask the dial, like, can I dial? And if you didn't remove your finger in time, it'd pinch it in that little metal finger pincher, like the whammy bar. <laughs> it's the phone's whammy bar. You'd, it'd be like that. Yeah. Dan's showing his age. Yeah, I remember a lot of stuff from when I was really, really little and then not much through like my teenager years as much as I sh like would like to. But I have a really good like young kid memory of all the stuff that I did before like like 15, 14. It's funny watching kids nowadays try to dial on them. Yeah, uh, when I worked at the bike shop, I've, I've told this story before, when I worked at the bike shop, there was this kid, his name was Connor and he'd come in, he's like 15 years old. And, um, I said something to him about like, I think he, I don't know, he came out on a day off or something like that. He's like, I'm working today. And I'm like, no, didn't you get it? Like I sent it to your beeper. And he's like, what's a beeper? And I had to like explain to him what a pager was. He had no idea. He had never like seen or heard or anything of this new technology. And then when I explained to him, he's like, that's stupid. I'm like, right? But it was the coolest thing. Like I had mine clipped on with my blue clear case and my Motorola. Right? So then I was like, whatever, I'll fax it to you next time. And it, but then the record screech, he's all like, fax? What's that? I'm like, a fax machine. And he's never heard that word either. How do you go that, like, he was 15. He had never heard, he had never heard the word fax machine. And I had to explain to him what a fax machine was, the con like from concept to like, the fax machine through the phone lines and it makes beeps and words come out of the paper on the other side. So yeah, explaining to a teenager that, I mean, even Blake I think knew both because Blake's very, uh, Blake's very pop cultured, 
before stuff. He's gonna be great in like 10 years. You know how like I'm good at the 90s? He's gonna be great in like 10 years. Very pop cultured. So he's gonna know what a pager is and a fax machine. But Connor, my boy Connor at the buy shop, never heard of either one of those. Uh, yes, leading the Canadian Geese South, Anna Paquin and uh, Jeff Daniels. That's who it was. Okay, good. Yes, right. I remember using a beeper. Me too. I caught the tail end of pagers. Yes. Yes, I did too. I did too. But first they just beeped. And you just hope you knew who was calling you. But I did have the one that you could text a message. You could text messages to. Facts. I just say facts. They still use it at my work. Yes. Um, I have not used a fax machine in years. Crystal still faxes at their place because they do a lot of like, um, look, that's me opening up the thing. They do a lot of city plannings and they do a lot of uh, CAD stuff for buildings and renderings and like, like at her work, like if you want like to have a window here, you have to have like an architect draw up like, you know, supports here and there. So she's got to fax a lot of stuff still. So they still do that. Some people still have faxes. Yes, okay, so check it out. I think Crystal explained it. If not, I'll explain it again and she'll probably say the story again. So at her work, she was going through all these folders. It looks like something out of the Brady Bunch in there. Like from Mike Brady at his at his architect place and like old, it's old like that with the old big tables and everything smells like the 70s. And they have book logs from the 70s, 80s, 90s. And Crystal was doing filing from way back. So uh, they would, email the they would email the the like receipt or like the invoice then they would print it out and then they would fax it and then they would make a copy of that and put it in a folder so there's like printouts of emails and printouts of text messages and stuff that have been sent to clients also printed out because that technology hadn't it was, was overlapping still uh, I'm ruining the story it's something really stupid and weird of like why would you make a copy of it after you faxed it? And I, I don't know. But all the stuff was so backwards there back in the, like the 80s and the 90s with the technology. But they still do fax stuff. I did, not, I did not have a fax machine. Although for a while there, all printers, you guys remember that? Like all the bubble jet printers and laser jet printer. No, not laser jets. Laser jets cost way more money back in the day. All the bubble jet and inkjet printers started coming with the fax machines and the scanners and the all-in-ones, you know? Uh, too many steps. Yes. Uh, I'm ruining the story. I, I ruined it. Crystal showed me and it was way, way crazier. We'll have to have her tell the story when we have another sit down thing about that. Um, so I never had like the fact, I never like had to deal with the fax machine. I did have like a $200 scanner though to scan stuff in. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? Um, have you ever used network boosters? Those are fun to activate. I have never had to try to use the network boosters. Um, it just depends. If you get the ones that plug in the wall that use your cable system, ugh, those things are like hokey pokey, but they kind of work in a pinch. But I have fortunately never had to set one up. I just got like a really crazy nice router. Um, also, my walls are made of graham cracker, so my signals just, I'm giving out signal to the world. So no, I don't, I've never had to do that. I had to fax orders when I ran the high school store. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, like, why do you need that? <laughs> my printer has a fax and it's new. See, yeah, so they still have those things just in case you need to fax something over, which is crazy because you can email the stuff or or you can, there's a, probably a scanner in there, right? And you can just scan it right to them. Like, I don't know what the fax does. You printed it because it was your receipt that you sent the fax. Yes, you remember fax receipts and that really crummy fax paper? Crystal has a bunch of those too and it's all oxidized so it's just black sheets. It's just completely black sheets like when the receipts get oxidized. I know. At least we moved past dial up, LOL. Yes, yes. And I felt like I was going back to the dial up days when I got that phone line for like a hot minute. Uh, yep, never use it. Yeah, see, so that, it's just outdated stuff. It's just outdated stuff. I don't think I'll ever find myself faxing something ever in my life again. Ever. I just had to fax something a year ago to the IRS. You're getting scammed, Brittany. Scammed. And what do you do? You, you munder, laundering money? You selling NFTs? Yeah, I don't think I will ever, I don't think I will ever, ever, for the rest of my life, 
um, fax anything. I think my faxing days are behind me. Yeah. Oh, thermal paper. That caused issues when I worked at uh, a parts store. Oh, oh yeah, I, I bet if you get stuff on it, like your fingers stuff, it probably just goes bl like black. I never had to use any of that stuff, but I've seen some old receipts that just, they're just black. If fax scan sends, fax, fax scan sends, receives, and prints too many things. Uh, some of the faxes used a uh, type of thermal paper. Yes, we would have to get the rules of thermal paper and put them in there. Um, then later on, the, it came with just regular printers. You know, you could fax, have a regular printers. The people tell me to fax them and I say, I can't, uh, I say, I can just email you the scan and save it on my computer the, at the same time. And they're like, um, okay, right? Why wouldn't you just want it digital in the first place? Oh my gosh. Like it's, it, it, if it came from there, it's going to be in pristine condition there. Yeah. Faxing stuff was a pain. And then sometimes I'd grab two or three of the papers and you'd be like, no. Facts were legal, copies not. That's right. For a while there, they were doing that. That you could fax a document and it could be it could be legal, which is weird to me, especially on thermal paper. But it's really weird to me. Yeah. See, I I made a mistake on my taxes. I had to fix it. Couldn't mail it back or email. They wanted faxes, which is crazy because I filed my taxes through the place and now I have to send it via something chiseled out of stone from bedrock um, you know like I put it on a pterodactyl and it's gonna have to fly and what are they gonna do with the paper staple it to the nothing to all the other digital stuff all the other digital stuff's digital they have a one folder with just one piece of paper in it you know like why why imagine living in Egyptian times where you had to chisel documents on stone and tablets I would be like, flog, can you, I, I would be like, like reprimanded because of all my misspellings. You can't backspace on that, right? I'm trying to make sandstone, a little bit of mud, I'm trying to backspace something because I put the wrong there, you know? That'd be so crazy. Write it again! Just with the rope dragging up another block. Oh, look, Dan's writing his report. <laughs> Dan's writing his report, and I'm just pulling stone oh my gosh yeah I know that would be awful but then again like I hate communicating by like paper or anything like that it needs like the bandwidth needs to be faster like it needs to be my brain my mouth my brain works faster than my mouth and my my mouth and my brain work way faster than my hands so every time I try to do something and you guys have seen you guys have gotten the packages from me in the mail look how serial killer my writing is look how crazy it is and stuff it's and then it's just like not coming out it's not coming out fast enough. Like it needs to come out.